Hey, what's going on, everybody? So Steve Greenberg, Art Kelly's attorney, has basically made another move against the New York feds. Now, I haven't actually seen this. I'm just responding to some articles that I've seen on the Internet. But apparently, let me actually see if I can find one of those articles. One second here. Apparently, according to this article here, Chicago Sun-Times, New York SC laws are unconstitutional, so charges against R. Kelly should be dropped, lawyer says. And apparently, he's filed a motion in the New York uh, federal jurisdiction. I have yet to actually see this motion. But just going off of debate here that the New York STD crimes are unconstitutional, I took the liberty of actually doing a search for the alleged crime that I believe they're referring to. And it's this is basically the New York State's website, and it has a lot of legislations and laws. And we're looking at Section 2307, and it basically talks about venereal diseases person knowing himself to be infected right and it goes on to read any person who knowingly himself or herself to be infected with an infectious venereal disease has sexual intercourse with another shall be guilty of a misdemeanor now this is actually funny and again i think this is another really good play on steve greenberg's uh part if this is a motion to dismiss like the other motion that I read in the other video series, or I'm still reading actually, I haven't actually finished it. Hopefully I'm gonna push out uh, maybe the final video tonight. But basically, if this is a motion to dismiss, again, it's a brilliant move because he's forcing these guys to come out and fight early. But actually in this case, I think it's going to be an instant win, right? So think about this. Any person who has an STD is guilty of a misdemeanor if he has sex. That's essentially what this thing says, right? So I can understand the motivation behind making a law like this because you want to try to stop the spread of infectious diseases and you want to deter people from going out and having sex when they're infected. But the problem with this, the problem with this law is that people have a right to have sex. That's the problem with it. You know, so basically people have a right to have sex and you can't make a law or statute that takes away a basic fundamental liberty, right? Governments can do everything, anything they want to make life better for everybody, but at the end of the day, they can't try to regulate or take away a basic freedom, right? And actually, this is something I actually wanted to talk about in the Robert Kraft case, but I made a couple of videos about Robert Kraft and nobody really ever bit on them, so I never got a chance to talk about Robert Kraft. I think, and I, I think Robert Kraft can probably beat his charges as well because he has a basic right to have sex with whomever he wants to. And that's a basic fundamental right, and, and, and no government can basically legislate to take that away. So that's the problem with this statute. That's the, that is the problem with the statute. So the way that they can actually fix this, in my opinion, is that they could probably modify it and, and make it say that if you knowingly have a disease and you don't tell the person that you're having sex with, then you've committed a, a misdemeanor, right? You know, that makes a little bit more sense. But I think one of the claims that Greenberg is actually making and this motion, the alleged motion, I haven't seen it. If you have this motion or if you have access to the motion, please get it over to me because I want to see it. I actually want to see it and read through it and maybe make a video series of it. But I can tell you right now, I'm not a lawyer. I'm definitely not a lawyer. But all you have to do is just look at this and just use some common sense, right? And I think uh, one of the claims that Greenberg is going to be making, at least according to the article, is that this law is overly broad. And he's right. But that's not the only problem with it. The other problem with it is that everyone has a basic right to have sex and to procreate. 
and the government has to be really careful when it comes in and starts making legislation or making statutes to play around with a basic fundamental right you know what i mean so this is definitely unconstitutional it can be easily fixed right because i i believe what they're trying to do is to keep people from spreading infectious diseases so one of the things that they can do they can modify this and and i think one of the other things he says this is a really old law so maybe way back then people didn't care about it and they let this record stay on the books but they can fix this all they have to do is change it to say if you knowingly infect a person with a sexually transmitted disease and you didn't tell them that you had a sexually transmitted disease beforehand then you're guilty of a misdemeanor or you uh, have committed a misdemeanor right you know so and you know this is actually probably going to be one for legal scholars to contemplate you know so Again, I'm just some guy on the internet who's just blurring out my own uh, opinions about law without any practice or education in law. So this is one for legal scholars because you obviously don't want people running around trying to purposely give people HIV. And you obviously don't want people running around trying to give people purposely give people syphilis and all those other infectious diseases. But on the other hand, one of the things that you might want to do if you haven't done this already is that you can do a search on my page and you can look at the videos responding to the R. Kelly's herpes allegation. I actually did a video series on that. And maybe this video or maybe the potential series of videos belong in that series. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this series of videos, but hopefully I can actually make them. I'm, I'm hoping that I, someone will send me the actual motion by Greenberg so I can go through it as it pertains to having the SDD charges thrown out. But anyway, search my search my page. Sorry, went on a tangent. Search my page and you'll find that I made several videos about the R. Kelly herpes allegations. And the reason I'm bringing this up now is because the Center for Disease and uh, Control, the Center for Disease and Con uh, Control, I think that's what it's called, CDC, they basically came out and they said that herpes is very common. It's an extremely common infectious disease, right? And don't quote me, but as I remember, I think some of the statistics was that 48% of all reported infected persons were of african-american uh descent i'm sorry african-american women 48 percent of all women that were reported to have had herpes were african-american and the cdc basically said that african-americans have the highest reports or incidents of uh actual her having herpes right you know so now i take that with a grain of salt because it could just mean that uh caucasians aren't going in to get tested and find out that they have it you know so you have to take statistics with a grain of salt it, it's not a disease that belongs to any race uh, of people right you know if you if you're out there and you have an unprotected sex your chances of getting this disease is extremely high you know the only way to ensure that you don't get herpes is to never kiss anybody none of your relatives your mom your dad your aunts don't kiss them and to never have sex right you know so that's the only way that you can be sure that you'll never get it but even that's not really a foolproof ray because you've probably been kissed as a baby and you know you probably had an outbreak in your body suppress it all this time and you're running around kissing people and you're giving other people herpes and you don't even know it right you know so this law would basically make a, 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 a huge I don't know what the statistics are for people who have cold sores in New York right I don't know what those statistics are but judging from the statistics of the Center of a disease control it has to be you know fairly high it has to be fairly high 
And again, if you don't believe me, go back to my page, my YouTube page, and do a search for the Hart R. Kelly herpes allegation videos. And in that series, there's one video that actually has a a doctor come out and she talks about how common the herpes virus is, right? You know, so basically, I'm just going to throw a number out there, but you'd have to go and lock up probably like 30, 35% of the new people of New York who are having sex because, you know, there, there's going to probably be, be at least 35% of them who have herpes, right? You know, so this would be unconstitutional because everyone has a basic right to have sex and also because it is kind of broad you're basically saying any and everybody it, it should be narrowed down uh, you know to maybe scale it down to focus on people who are intentionally going around infecting other people but i think all in all i think this is going to be a definite win for greenberg and the reason I say that is because the law is extremely broad, right? And you're trying to legislate, uh, you know, a person's right to have sex. I understand that you need to make sure that people aren't running around out there spreading the disease purposely, but you can't take away a person's fundamental freedom, right? So... That's it for this video. I'm just going to end it. It's actually got longer than I intended it to get. So leave your comments below. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think about this law. Do you think it's unconstitutional? Do you think it's a fair law? Or do you think the law itself should be thrown out, right? You know, or maybe they should basically remake this law. And also let me know what you think about R. Kelly's chances of actually having the misdemeanor claims thrown out uh, over the herpes allegations, right? You know, because I think one of the people who are claiming outwardly that she was infected by R. Kelly is Faith Rogers. Faith Rogers is an African-American woman. According to the statistics of the Center of Disease Control, she had a really good, strong chance of having it before she even met R. Kelly, right? You know, because according to them, 48% of all women, African-American women, have herpes. So let me know what you think. I think this 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 statute is not only going to apply to Faith Rogers, but it would uh, typically, not typically, it would potentially apply to any woman that R. Kelly would have had sex with while he was in New York, right? You know, so any of those victims, alleged victims that they're claiming had sex with R. Kelly in New York, this is going to apply to. So let me know what you think about this law as it pertains to R. Kelly. Do you think R. Kelly is going to have this, this claim or this part of the indictment thrown out? Leave your questions and comments below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and definitely subscribe.